Hey guys, Jared here again, AKA The Laughing Man. So moving on to the next part of this uh, car hauler project. Uh, I was gonna wait and just get a winch from my in-laws, but we decided to go ahead and get a small one from Harbor Freight here. Uh, this was the last one that they had in stock. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm sure from the title of the video, you can already see what this one is. So here it is. This is the uh, uh, Badlands Apex. Um, I went with this one because it's going to be obviously on the outside of the uh, trailer. I want to go ahead and make this so that's modular to go between the truck and the trailer. But it is uh, water rated and dust rated for IP68. Uh, this one also comes with the wireless controller, the synthetic line. Um, it's supposed to be twice as fast as the next one in their lineup. Um, it is a bit uh, it is a bit bigger than what I wanted or had planned on getting, but uh, you know, go big or go home. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside of this thing. All right, guys, so right off the bat, we got the manual, stickers, a guide to winching. So this will show you how to, you know, actually winch off of stuff. So that might actually be useful. Uh, one of the upgrades to the Apex over the standard 1200 is you get the big uh, hook. You get this little Badlands pull tab. It comes pre-installed with wireless. And out, I'm sorry, and out. <clears throat> um, you can also run it in a wired mode. So we'll test that out. Here's the wire for the wired mode. So this end into the controller, this end into the winch. And this really nice piece that you don't chafe your line. Also, this thing's extremely heavy duty. This is, I think it's a solid piece of aluminum. So that comes with this one. All right, I'll go ahead and remove that piece of styrofoam. And there it is. Like I said, it's, it's pretty small, but uh, hopefully it'll, it'll get the job done. You got a mounting plate, so I'll probably be using that. <laughs> I'll have to set you down real quick to pull the uh, winch out. It's pretty heavy. Before we do that, you got, I'm actually not sure what that block is for. Uh, it looks like wiring goes in there. Of course, you get these really beefy cables. I'm not sure if they're quite zero gauge, but they're, they're pretty large. Mounting bolts. White mystery box. Okay, so this is the uh, battery disconnect switch. So I'll be using this not just for the uh, uh, winch, but I'm also going to be using it for the electric. Uh, not only going to be using this for the winch, but I'll also be using it for the electric jack. Um, so hide that. You can turn it on and off so that you get power to everything. And where did the box go? All right, and just more connectors, some really big grounds. Of course, some elbows. Yeah. They definitely hook you up with this one.
Another bag of grounding wires. All right, at the very bottom, looks like you get some, uh, these are guards for your uh, cable. So if you're going around a tree or something like that, you're not chafing them. So those are always handy to have. So definitely keep those. All right, and that's everything that's in the box. All right, and here's the winch itself. Thing is ungodly heavy, which is what you want. All right, so you got this, oh, it's actually really smooth. Uh, so this is to either engage or disengage for uh, if you wanna pull out your line. It's uh, currently zip tied in there. I'll probably leave it all zip tied until it's fully mounted. But uh, then this is where you would put in your cable if you wanted to run a wired system. And this is your on and off for your uh, wireless controller as well. So. All right, so I guess uh, that is the unboxing of the Badlands winch. Uh, up next, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach a toolbox to the tongue of my trailer and see if this thing will fit inside the toolbox. If not, we'll find another way to mount this, so. All right, all right guys, so it took a little bit longer than anticipated. I planned on filming the entire install, but uh, one problem led to another, um, so, but I do have a fine lane here. The box is mounted. The Badlands Apex is mounted. Um, so when you get it and you get your remote, it does come charged. So just push and hold the button for a second. You get that on. This should already be on. So you just come in here, make sure that your switch is up for on. All right, which it is. So now you can go line out. Or line back in. All right, and just kind of tucks up nicely there. So I planned on using a power distribution block uh, with fuses to hook all this in, uh, which I still plan on doing. I just can't find my PDB right now. So for right now, we're just running it straight into this battery. I'm just gonna make sure that the battery's charged. I've got a trip coming up tomorrow. I gotta go pick up a car. Um, so. This is pretty much how it's gonna ride for today. Um, I'm gonna make sure I take this with me just in case. And of course, uh, this thing, you can either release the tension or keep the tension in. So, it's just pulling it taut. So, uh, I do need to get stronger mounting bolts for the bottom of it, and make sure that it's not gonna just completely destroy this aluminum box. Other than that, it's good to go. I've also got this hooked up to here. So my jack is now also running off of the same, uh, run off the same uh, power cut, uh, which normally you would run on the negative side, uh, but for this one I'm running it on the positive because all my ground is going through the uh, trailer chassis. So we're just gonna call this good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish tightening all this up and then uh, I think I'm good for my trip tomorrow. Um, I wish I had some steel in here to attach that to, but I don't. All right, so this is uh, the installation for now, and uh, I'll take you guys along for my 15-hour trip up north to go grab my car and uh, stuff out of storage, and we'll see how it actually works. So, thanks, guys.